Welcome to FIFOIL, the innovator in radiant barrier and reflective insulation products. FIFOIL manufactures an entire family of insulation materials for residential, commercial, and agricultural applications. Lightweight and easy to install, FIFOIL's reflective insulations and radiant barriers will significantly reduce heat transfer which saves energy and can greatly improve the comfort level in any building structure. FIFOIL, providing radiant insulation solutions. Installing a radiant barrier is simple and straightforward. While it can be installed by a single individual, Working in a team of two can increase the efficiency of the installation. You will need a few basic tools. These include a knife or pair of scissors, a hammer stapler, and a tape measure. You may also want to use a dispenser if you plan to pre-cut the radiant barrier. For typical truss installation, B3 Silver Shield comes in rolls and in widths suitable for trusses or rafters 16 inches, 24 inches, and 30 inches on center. The 30 inch wide roll is available for hip roof applications or where trusses are spaced greater than 24 inches. Whether you pre-cut or work directly off the roll, install the radiant barrier so that ventilation is left unobstructed. Allow from 3 to 6 inches at the top. Likewise, any roof vents such as an off-ridge, square vent, or gable vent should be left unobstructed. At the soffit end, leave space for air to flow above the radiant barrier and also leave some room between the bottom of the radiant barrier and the top of the mass insulation for air movement in the general attic space. Silver Shield Radiant Barrier is a multi-layer radiant barrier. There are internal expanders that separate the layers when installed. Only a slight pull is necessary to expand the layers. There are two methods of attaching the radiant barrier to the trusses. We'll cover them in a moment. In each method, a length of silver shield is lined up and attached with staples to one truss. With one edge secure, the second edge can be extended to the next truss. This is repeated for the entire run. With one installer working up in the trusses and the second working off of a ladder or scaffolding from below, the entire length can be stapled quickly and efficiently. Cut or wrap the barrier around any cross member you encounter, as shown in this picture. The first of the two methods of attaching radiant barrier to the trusses is the face-to-face -face method. With this method, the installers must align the barrier sheets along the truss covered by the previous sheet of barrier. Once the first side is attached, proceed with the second side. The second method is the side-to-face method. This method is similar to the face-to-face -face method. In this method, the bottom of the staple tab of the barrier sheet is lined up with the bottom of the truss, therefore providing a straight reference. The barrier sheet may hang down straight out of the installer's way while it is being stapled to the side of the first truss. After having attached the first side, the radiant barrier is brought over to the second truss and is stapled flush to its face. Different installers prefer different methods. Try working with each one to determine which works best for you. Sometimes in single assembly cavities, Silver Shield is combined with other forms of insulation. The product can be recessed stapled in the cavity. It's best to leave at least three quarters of an inch of air space between the insulation and the radiant barrier and the radiant barrier and the roof deck. 
In addition to truss installation, radiant barriers are often installed in gables. The installer works his way upward, attaching the barrier to the studs using one of the previously mentioned methods. At the taper of the roof line, the barrier is cut or folded to match the angle. It is then stapled into place. Fold back a corner at both the top and bottom of each run. This fold should leave a two to three inch opening, roughly the size of a fist, for airflow in and out of the cavity. Most of the methodology of installing a radiant barrier can be applied to the hip roof installation. Using the 30 inch product, pieces are cut two length and attached to the roof beams using one of the preferred methods. Once the taper point is reached, the radiant barrier is cut or folded to match the angle. Once again, cut or fold the corner to leave a two to three inch opening at each end for ventilation. You can also use silver shield as an insulation baffle. To do this, tuck it back over the lentil block or wood wall and staple to the top of the horizontal furring or the top plate. If there is no furring strip or top plate, tuck over the wall and double staple to the side of the truss. Stop the radiant barrier above the mass insulation. Leave a one inch to two inch opening and then continue with the radiant barrier. Silver Shield Radiant Barrier is a perfect complement to standard insulation packages and attic installed mechanical ducts. Silver Shield improves air conditioner efficiency by providing a semi conditioned cooler attic space for ductwork. Improves the performance of standard insulation by reducing temperature. And improves comfort in unconditioned areas like garages and lanai. Five oil, providing radiant insulation solutions.